say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's That our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the Good evening. My name is Randall Rushing, and I'm the chairman for the Shawnee Community College Board of Trustees. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I thank you all for attending this year's commencement ceremony. This has been another exciting, rewarding, although challenging year at Shawnee Community College. <clears throat> the administration, faculty, and staff have worked tirelessly to provide the best learning environment possible for our students. At this time, I want to recognize my fellow board members who are attending virtually along this year. Ms. Andrea Whitoff, board secretary. Ms. Whitoff resides in Anna and has served on the board for three years. Ms. Kathy Belcher, the assistant secretary. Ms. Belcher resides in Anna and has served on the board 15 years and is the college's liaison to the foundation board. <coughs> Steve Heisner. Steve Heisner resides in Karnak and has served on the Board of Trustees for 20 years. John Windings. Mr. Windings resides in Metropolis. He is a former faculty member at Shawnee College and has served on the Board for one year. Steve Etter. Mr. Etter resides in Anna and was elected by the student body as student trustee and has served on the Board for over one year. Michael McMahon. <coughs> Vice Chairman and Retired Lieutenant Colonel Mr. McMahon resides in Vienna and has served on the board for three years. James Darden. Mr. Darden resides in Cyprus and is newly appointed to the board. Congratulations Class of 2020 from Shawnee Community College. Board of Trustees, thank you. Good evening Class of 2020. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you tonight to the 2020 Commencement Ceremony. Tonight's ceremony is a special ceremony we share with you virtually due to the pandemic gripping our world. This pandemic has turned our world upside down and affected our lives in ways that were totally unexpected. However, we can still be together tonight to celebrate your accomplishments and achievements as you leave your college to begin to commence the next step in the journey to become who you will be. I am Dr. Kathleen Curphy, Interim President of Shawnee Community College, and I want to begin by introducing our participating guests for our virtual graduation. Patrick Windhorse, Illinois State Representative. Miss Jamie Jordan, student. The Reverend Carl Whitaker, pastor of Bethel Temple Church of God in Christ. Dr. Tiffany Hines, 2020 Distinguished Alumni. Hadley Stevens, 2020 Associate of Arts graduate. And Thomas Gray Church, pastor of Fellowship Baptist. At this time, we welcome 
Reverend Whitaker, to lead us in the invocation. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, thanking you for the blessings bestowed upon this college, this facility, Lord. We ask that you bless the faculty, bless everyone that taught and took the time out to make an influence in every one of the students' life that is getting ready to graduate at this particular time. We ask you in the name of Jesus to watch over each and every one of them, guide them to direct them in the ways that they should go according to thy will. Bless them in their endeavors to do a positive thing or be a positive influence in society. Watch over them in every step of their life. Guide them, direct them in the name of Jesus. Bless them in multiple ways, God. And we ask that you look on their life, look on their families, look on everyone that has a part of their education and continue to watch over them as they go forth in society to make an influence, to make a positive influence in the life of others. In the name of Jesus, we ask you to do this, God. And as you continue to watch over and watch over this facility, the educators, the facility, and all of these staff and administration, God, bless them in ways that they need to be that influence in the life of so many of the students that have come to this facility to get educated. This we ask in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It gives me great pleasure to preside over the first virtual commencement ceremony of Shawnee Community College. And I want to begin by acknowledging our dedicated staff, faculty, and administration for their service this past year and for the countless hours spent preparing the best possible virtual commencement experience for our students and their families. I would also like to take a moment to acknowledge the parents, family, friends, and loved ones who have supported our graduates throughout their academic journey. Additionally, I am grateful for the College Board of Trustee members who give us their time and talent to ensure fiscal responsibility, resources, and access to all residents of the district that are available. <clears throat> At this time, I would like to introduce Patrick Windhorse, who lives in Metropolis with his wife, Holly, and their young daughter and son. After graduating from Massac County High School, Patrick received an associate degree from Shawnee Community College in 1995. At SCC, he served on the Student Senate and wrote for the student newspaper, The Temple. Patrick went on to earn his undergraduate degree in journalism at the University of Illinois in 1997 and graduated from law school at Southern Illinois University Carbondale in 2000. From 2000 to 2004, he worked for the law firm of Denton, Kuehler, and Paducah. In 2004, Patrick was elected as state's attorney for Massac County, where he served until being elected state representative in November 2018. Patrick is a member of the Illinois Bar Association, the Metropolis Rotary Club, the Shawnee Saints Foundation Board, the Metropolis Chamber of Commerce, and the Massac County Drug Awareness Coalition. Patrick was sworn in as the 118th District State Representative on January 9, 2019. The 118th District includes all or part of Alexander, Gallatin, Hamilton, Hardin, Jackson, Johnson, Massac, Pulaski, Pope, Saline and Union Counties. Congratulations to you, the class of 2020, to your parents and your loved ones. This event marks a great milestone achievement, one that you should be proud of. Thank you, Dr. Kerfee, the administration, faculty, and staff at Shawnee Community College for this opportunity. It is my great honor to give the commencement address this year. 25 years ago, I had the honor of graduating from this same institution. Little did I imagine then that I would be giving this speech. Little did I imagine a few months ago when I was asked that you would be able to watch this speech from your living room while wearing shorts. As I thought about what I wanted to say, I thought it would be appropriate to consider what is the purpose of a commencement speech? One source I found said the purpose is to impart wisdom. Well, I went into politics so imparting wisdom is pretty much out of the question. Another said, the address should provide direction to the graduates. This may be even more difficult right now, 
with the state of the world we live in. The very fact that the commencement is occurring virtually rather than in person shows that we are in an unusual time with some unanswered questions. What will our future look like? What will the effects be of the coronavirus on our life going forward? Will we have a vaccine? Will there be an effective treatment? When will the businesses open up? When will our life return to normal? There is no question we are living at a time of uncertainty. At no time in our country's history since World War II and the Great Depression has there been so much uncertainty about the direction and future of our nation. Medical professionals and government officials are discussing the appropriate medical, governmental, and societal response to the virus. While that discussion and decision-making is going on, the question remains, how do we go forward in an unknown world? The first thing to remember is that you belong to a community. We honor you for becoming a member of the Shawnee College alumni community. As you have experienced with your time at Shawnee Community College, this is a great institution, one that is vital to the future success of its students, its graduates, and our whole region. Some of you will immediately go to work with the skills and knowledge you have gained to make your lives and our world a better place. Some of you will take what you've learned and move on to another institution to further your education, to build on the solid foundation that's been laid here. Whatever your course, I ask you carry with you the pride that comes with being a Shawnee Saint. I ask you not to forget where you come, came from and those who helped you along the way, particularly those here at Shawnee. In addition to being a saint, the vast majority of you belong to another community made up of the cities, towns, and villages called Southern Illinois. Wherever you are from, remember that you are from somewhere. And that community has placed its hopes, dreams, even its material resources in you and your future. Many of you will return to your community, but many others will find a new place. Wherever you wind up, that community and the strengths you draw from it will guide you as we navigate the coming months and years and whatever may come from them. As we acknowledge the benefits we get from our community, we must also be aware of our responsibilities. We have an obligation to give back, to build relationships, to actually be a member of the community, to be a person who gives more than takes. Even in a time of social distancing, we must work together to address the challenges we face. We will handle the problems we face the same way we have come through other disasters and difficulties by neighbor helping neighbor. Part of giving back to the community is being the people our community needs us to be. This begins with humility. As we know, we live in a time of uncertainty. But if you go online, you will find nothing but complete certainty. People express their certainty about all aspects of life, and the current pandemic is no exception. You will either read certainty that there is nothing to worry about with COVID-19, or certainty that reopening businesses will be a massive disaster. The truth likely lies somewhere in between. But again, no one really knows. And that is a reason for humility. Having humility is acknowledging that we don't have all the answers, that we may in fact be wrong, that we have something to learn, that we need to respect the views and ideas of others, and that we need others to help us through life. Just as important for our community, humility teaches us to put the needs of others above ourself. Another thing our community needs from us is courage. Courage has been defined as grace under pressure. It is also described as not the absence of fear, but the ability to act in the face of fear. With uncertainty often comes fear, fear of the unknown and an anxiety that is difficult to describe. Each of us is going to need courage to move forward. When we think of courage, we often think of physical courage, but often there is emotional courage, mental courage, and moral courage. 
Each of these makes a person courageous. There are a lot of questions now. What if we'd never develop a vaccine? What if we never develop an effective treatment? If these things don't occur, will that mean we remain in our current state of paralysis? Human nature being what it is, the answer is no. And then we will need the courage to face an uncertain future and a new reality. Even if science does provide a solution, the issues our community were already facing require us to have courage. We need courage to honestly address our problems. Here, courage looks a lot like resilience and perseverance. It's easy to throw our hands up and say, the problems we're facing, they can't be solved. Our small communities can't be made better. This is the way it's been, and this is the way it always will be. It takes tremendous courage to try, to try to make things better, to try to improve our situation and the lives of others, to put ourselves out there and to risk failure or rejection. But our communities need us to be courageous and persistently work to make ourselves and the community better. And if we have setbacks or failures, to get up and try again. The last thing I'm going to mention that our community needs is adaptability. Each of us is going to have to be flexible and to adapt to meet the world in front of us. We don't know what challenges we will face personally or collectively in the next month, year, or decade, but we know there will be challenges. We know we will live in an ever-changing world. In fact, it has been said that one constant in life is change. With change comes the need for us to adapt by personally meeting the challenge and change that life gives us. We will be able to help our community adapt to those changes and to meet those challenges. The three traits I've mentioned, humility, courage, and adaptability, are not some unattainable goal. You have achieved them with your graduation from Shawnee Community College. By going to college and completing your degree, you have acknowledged that you don't know it all, that you have something to learn, and that instructors here can teach you something. That's humility. By going to college and completing your degree, you have taken a risk. You have allowed for the possibility that you might fail. For some, there may have even been a fear of the challenge of going to college. You persisted in the face of that fear. That's courage. By going to college and completing your degree, you have prepared yourself for the changes of life and an uncertain world. That's adaptability. It is true we face uncertain times, but life is filled with uncertainty. Now my challenge for you is to use these talents, not just for yourself, but to give back to your community through service toward those around you. And with that, I again say, Congratulations to you, the class of 2020. We are proud of you. Our student speaker for tonight's ceremony is Jamie Jordan. Miss Jordan is a 2013 graduate of Anna Jonesboro High School and is receiving her associate degree in nursing. While attending Shawnee Community College, she has been a student worker to the administrative assistant of the Vice President of Student Success, as well as a member of Student Senate serving as Vice President and then President. Jamie plans to be a neonatal ICU nurse at Children's Hospital in St. Louis, Missouri, obtain her Master's in Nursing, and become a nurse practitioner. Hello, graduating class of 2020. While I wish we were doing this in person, virtual graduation is what this time calls for. My name is Jamie Jordan. Some of you may know me by the various jobs that I do at the school. I am graduating student today though. I would like to take a few minutes just to say how proud I am of all of us. I know our last semester didn't go as planned and it was kind of ruined by the pandemic, but we pulled it together and we are now graduating. For many of us, this will be just a stepping stone for our next future goals. And then for some of us, this is when we start our careers. But either way, I would like to take a moment to say congratulations, and we deserve to be celebrated. 
Great job, guys. We did it. Emerging from humbling beginnings, Dr. Hines has aspirations of becoming something greater than her circumstances. As a first-generation college graduate, it was particularly important for her to set new standards and build a legacy where she led by example. Although she was faced with adversity and reflection upon her journey, she refused to allow fear or self-doubt to limit the trajectory of her success. Dr. Hines attended West Kentucky Community and Technical College, majoring in business administration, earning an associate's degree in 2008. She then completed the licensed practical nurse program at Western Kentucky in 2009. She went on to become a registered nurse graduating from Shawnee Community College in 2011. While at SCC, she joined TRIO Student Support Services and was mentored by career and transfer advisor Tanya Hill. They exposed her to a multitude of educational and career opportunities. Dr. Hines then earned a Bachelor of Science in Nursing in 2013. In 2018, she graduated from Union University, earning a Doctor of Nursing Practice degree specializing in anesthesiology. Dr. Hines is currently licensed in multiple states, practicing as a travel, travel nurse anesthesiologist. She recently founded Great Glam Anesthesia, Anesthesia LLC, an anesthesia group that provides evidence-based practice anesthesia services in multiple settings. She attributes her success to her profound faith in God, life-inspiring lessons instilled by her mother, perseverance, and her relentless determination to defy the odds placed against her. Class of 2020, congratulations, graduates. You have worked diligently over the past few years, studying long hours, writing papers, and even fulfilling clinical requirements. Many of you have had to adhere to such stipulations while maintaining full-time jobs, raising a family, and have reached the heights of graduating under all these crazy circumstances. You have endured unforeseen life-changing events. Some of you may have experienced grieving a loss, suffering an illness, or even being faced with financial instability. The unfortunate thing about life is it's so unpredictable. Life has a way of throwing curveballs at you right when you're in the brink of greatness, right when you're getting ready to have your major breakthrough. It is during these times that we discover exactly what we're made of. Class of 2020, you are not the typical graduating class. You are resilient. You have had the ability to meet the graduating requirements in the midst of a global pandemic. And in my opinion, that solidifies your position and sets you apart from the rest. You have learned how to adjust and to adapt to your surroundings and conquer all that you set out to accomplish during these unprecedented times. And there's something to be said about that. I am a living testimony that the pressure that you endure during the most critical times is what differentiates and distinguishes you. My name is Dr. Tiffany Hines, and this is my backstory. So a little bit about me. I am a first generation graduate of my family. Um, my mother did not complete the seventh grade, and my father only completed high school. Um, although we come from financial instability, um, and I did not come from a strong educational background, the importance of education was deeply rooted in my household. My parents did not know how to get me to where I am today. They didn't know to tell me to take certain classes. So with that being said, I had to take quite a few detours. I hit a lot of brick walls and I was faced with a lot of rejection. And it used to tear me apart, but in hindsight, looking back, that's what gives you the strength. That's what gives you the motivation and the drive to push and be your greatest self. So I started out like most people, fresh out of 
college or high, high school, was supposed to go to U of L, and I decided not to. I, I hung back with my friends and I went to um, a community college and I did not do my best work. At that time, I did not prioritize the importance of higher education, and my grades were not the greatest. I took a few semesters off to find myself, and I had a humbling experience. I was working at a local restaurant, and one of my old classmates from high school, who I hadn't seen since graduation, had just finished his bachelor's degree. Um, he was working for his father's company, However, it was about him and probably about 10 colleagues or so. And the money that he spent on their meal and how nicely he tipped me, I didn't make that in over two weeks. So that was a turning point for me. I went home to my mother, I told her about it. And the following Monday, we went to West Kentucky Community and Technical College to try to see about getting me into school and doing something. From the time I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a nurse. My mother's mother, my grandmother, had terminal cancer. And when I was in sixth grade, she stayed with us and she had a phenomenal home health nurse. And she used to take me under her wing, let me help with medications. And I just thought I was doing something. So for that reason, I always wanted to go to school for nursing. So to my surprise, when I sat in front of the advisor and my grades were terrible, mind you. I told her that I wanted to go to school for nursing and she looked at me and my mother and she said, well, I'm sorry to inform you, but there's no way that you can get into the nursing program. We didn't know any different, so we just decided, okay, well, I guess I'll go for business. Had I been told, you know, retake these classes and get a better GPA. You know, your GPA isn't the best right now, but we can fix this maybe I would have taken a different course. Nonetheless, I'm a firm believer that what God has for you, he has for you. So I went through school and I was about done. I was in my last semester of an associate's degree in business. And my best friend had been trying to go to nursing school and she asked me to go with her to the, um, the organization you had to sit down for a conference when you were interested in going to nursing. And she wanted me to go for more support. I told her I would. So I went, they handed out the paperwork and I told the lady, I was like, no ma'am, I'm just here for moral support for my friend. She said, well, you're here, just fill it out anyway. I said, yes ma'am. So I did just that. This was March of that year and I filled everything out and when I walked out I had no thoughts of possibly being accepted into the program because I was told that there was no way. Fast forward a couple of weeks after graduation in May I received a letter in the mail from the Department of Nursing and the first thing I read was congratulations. <laughs> From that point on, I had all my prerequisites and the things that I didn't have, I was able to take the first semester. The LPN program was very challenging for me. I had to take a full didactic course while working a full-time job. I got up and was at school um, from about seven o'clock to three. And from 3.30 to 11, I was working as a nurse's assistant at Parkview and I studied once I put my patients to bed. So, Finished school, got through, I worked for a year and I returned back. Luckily, Shawnee accepted me into their ADM program. I was surrounded by so much positivity, um, one of which I have to pay homage to is Miss Tanya Hill. Um, I joined the TRIO Support Services and she exposed me to a variety of things. Um, that group allowed me to go to different universities. I had never set foot on a university to tour them to see what they had to offer and I was in awe. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do but I knew I wanted to go further. Um, like, like everything in life, you get faced with adversity, you get faced with rejection. Um, some people that you even admire and look up to may not always have the best advice for you, unfortunately. It's not necessarily that they don't mean you know, the positivity for you, it doesn't mean that they don't have your best interest at heart, but sometimes what your dreams or goals are, they may be bigger than who you might be talking to. 
I was, I finished the nursing program pretty much at the top of my class. And before graduating, I had an acceptance letter into Murray State University. Throughout my educational career, I was told that, you know, you have to be a certain type of way. You have to present a certain type of way. I've always been inquisitive. Never be afraid to ask questions. My mother used to tell me there is no dumb question if you don't know the answer. And just know that sometimes that intimidates people. It's not always what you say, but it's how you say it. And just always show up and strive for excellence. And those who are naysayers and don't see that future for them, you thrive off of that. You do not allow that to discourage you or upset you, you allow that to motivate you. And that's exactly what it done for me. I went through Murray State University. I finished with honors, I did great. Shortly after graduation, I began working in the emergency department at Paducah at Western Baptist. I got trauma experience and it was a great opportunity for me. I had learned things that I had never before in my career. Um, I came in contact with my mentor, and she's still my mentor, Miss um, Alvita. She is a, a RN, Western Baptist, and she's simply amazing. After working in the ER, I wanted to be a nurse practitioner, but I decided that's not the right route that I wanted to go. And she suggested, well, why don't you go for nurse anesthesia? Go to be an anesthetist. And to be completely honest, at that point, I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> she then took the liberty of calling the the operating room and set up a shadow day for me to shadow a couple CRNAs to get a bird's eye view. And I absolutely loved it. From that moment, I researched it and I went full throttle. Luck would have it. A couple of months later, Union University had a preview day. I was able to go and was able to be exposed by all the wonderful things that they had to offer. They had a live cadaver lab and simulation lab. And I specifically remember speaking to the director of the program, Dr. Molly Wright, and I told her, I was like, I'm so interested in this. How can I make myself the most, you know, credible candidate? <laughs> she said, well, you know, definitely, you know, work in the ICU and work at a level one trauma center and try as fat. I did just that. A couple years later, I moved to Atlanta. I started working at Grady. I worked in the ER, and I also worked in the surgical and trauma ICU, level one center. I had so much experience, so much experience. I, I did that, and you know, sometimes pressure is what forces us out of our comfortable mode. Even though I had every intention on going to school, I was comfortable. I had a nice place, I had a nice car, I didn't have any children or a husband at the time. I was making good money. I was young. Work was great. However, I got tripled one too many times. I had, you know, one-to-one -one patients that I was having to take care of two patients with, and it was overwhelming. And I made a split decision, like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I applied to school, and me being the person I am, the last day that everything was due was when everything got turned in. And I remember vaguely, I received an, an email to come for an interview and the rest is history. I went through the program. The program took me from my, doc, from my bachelor's directly into my doctorate, three year program. When I graduated, I graduated pretty high in my class. I done exceedingly well on boards. My, my professor, the director of the program actually messaged me on how well I done on boards. And you know, it's not about always, if you're the smartest person, it's who has the most drive, who has the most persistent, who shows up and shows out every day. And you have to be that person. So I have, I have definitely, in hindsight, it's kind of a humbling experience to see where I've come. And I know right now, many of you are thinking, I cannot believe I've made it. But guess what? It is so much more. This is only the beginning. Don't let life define you you set the mode, you set your own temple, you be the best you that you can be. After graduation, I took a job, I was working independently, I have done pretty well for the last two years. Here recently, I just got my own LLC and I am in the process of starting my own anesthesia company, Great Glam Anesthesia. 
I feel like this is only the beginning and I plan to go on and I want to be a philanthropist. I plan to give back. And that's what it's about. I encourage you all. You all are sitting in seats and everyone is looking at you. This is your moment. Shine. Everyone is in awe and in admiration of you. Share that light to young kids, boys, girls, even those that are older than you. Believe it or not, you've got people who are watching and are inspired by you who are older than you. Give that back. Give that back. Don't, don't allow others to run into the same brick walls that you all may have encountered along your journey, and that's what it's about. So, <laughs> although my journey has been full of rejection, full of disappointment, I don't think I would have had it any other way because that has built character and it's what has made me who I am today. Excitement and the enthusiasm of greatness is very common. However, the endurance to accomplish such things is a rarity. Everyone sees the destination. Everyone sees that look at these graduates. You've done what you need to do. You fulfilled these requirements and you're starting a new career and entering the workforce and wow, I want to be that graduate. Everyone sees the destination, but no one sees the journey. So for that, I commend you. Keep in mind that it's not always the brightest, it's not always the smartest student that acquires the most success. It's the one that has the most endurance, along with the willingness to transform stumbling blocks into stepping stones and to defy the odds that typically goes the farthest in life. For the road to success is not a sprint. It is a marathon. Pace yourself, just pace yourself. I know it doesn't seem like it now, but you have nothing but time and you'll look back and before you know it, two, three, four years will have flown by and the people around you will chances are be doing the same things and you will be exactly where you wanna be. You know, life is, so full of surprises and there's so much pressure placed on us be be the best you that you can be and don't allow anyone to change that so in conclusion i leave you with this <laughs> class of 2020 be brave take chances and do not fear failure but be terrified of regret self-doubt has shattered way more dreams than failure ever will Know that right now, you have the ability to take risk, to do something extraordinary, or lose the chance of ever doing so. Secondly, set your own standards and then exceed them. Do not allow external influences or the likes of social media to force you to conform what society thinks you ought to be. As stated by Maya Angelou, success is liking yourself what you do and liking how you do it. With that being said, again, I challenge you to be the best version of yourself. And finally, know that we live in a world with so much uncertainty and fear, hatred and anger runs rampant. You are the future. And as you embark upon this new journey and enter the workforce and or advance your educational career, you have ability to to make a difference in the world, even if it's just in those that you encounter directly. Be the kind of person that you want to meet. The simple act of kindness goes a long way. Change has to start somewhere. Let it start with you. Again, congratulations. I wish all of you all the best. Go and be great. As interim president and on behalf of the faculty, I am pleased to certify these candidates have completed or will complete all the requirements for their respective degrees and certificates as prescribed by the state of Illinois. Chairman Rushing, I recommend that these candidates be recognized for their achievements and that their respective degrees and certificates be awarded at this time. Faith Acuff, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree. Sandria Adams, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Sierra Adkins, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree, all with honors. 
Sarah Allen, one year certificate in practical nursing with honors. Peyton Alsip, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree. Giovanni Amasquita, Associate of Applied Science degree in Criminal Justice, one year certificate in Criminal Justice. Shelby Amos, Associate of Science degree, Medical Biller certificate, Medical Coder certificate. Brock Anderson, one year certificate in combination welding. Sydney Andre, Associate of Arts degree. Martina Ashley, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Caleb Atherton, Basic Residential Electricity Certificate. Kelsey Badgley, One Year Certificate in Practical Nursing. Brandon Bailey, Associate of Arts Degree. Kendra Baltzell, Associate of Arts Degree. Trina Bardoner, Associate of Applied Science Degree and Occupational Therapy Assistant with Honors. Janice Barber, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree. Shiloh Barger, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Emily Barker, one year certificate in practical nursing. Jenny Bartolomucci, one year certificate in cosmetology with honors. Hayden Baser, Associate of Arts degree. Santana Beck, one year certificate in practical nursing. Kara Bell, one year certificate in practical nursing. Eileen Benton, Associate of Arts degree. Matthew Bertrand, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree. Jordan Bigham, Associate of Science degree with honors. Jordan Billingsley, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing with honors. Nicole Blevins, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Jessa Bond, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Courtney Bonner, Associate of Arts degree. Megan Bordoy, one year certificate in practical nursing. Levi Boren, Associate of Arts degree. Valeria Botello, Associate of Arts degree. Kylie Branscomb, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree, all with honors, and also a Vienna High School graduate. Brianna Brasher, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree, all with honors. Jillian Bramer, one year certificate in cosmetology with honors. Serena Brenningmeyer, criminal justice certificate, Associate of General Studies degree. Kirsten Brewer, Associate of Applied Science degree in Agriculture, Business, and Management. Dennis Brown, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing with honors. Jody Brown, one year certificate in practical nursing. Dalton Browning, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree, all with honors. Melanie Browning, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree. Haley Bundren, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree, both with honors and also a Vienna High School graduate. Jacob Calhoun, Associate of Arts degree with honors. Charlie Campbell, 
Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Mario Carrillo, Associate of Arts degree. Alicio Carmona, Associate of Arts degree. Salvador Carmona, Associate of Applied Science degree in criminal justice, and one year certificate in criminal justice. Megan Cato, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing with honors. Christian Sapita, Associate of Arts degree. Lindsay Childers, one year certificate in practical nursing. Zachary Clardy, Associate of Arts degree with honors. Cheyenne Claiborne, Medical Biller Certificate, Medical Coder Certificate. Jamie Cole, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Rosa Collins, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree. Caden Kuntz, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Charles Cope, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree. Sierra Kurzine, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree, and a Vienna High School graduate. Caleb Cox, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, both with honors. Abigail Cripps, Associate of Arts degree. Cameron Curtis, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree. Jacob DeVault, Associate of Applied Science degree in Automotive Technology, one year certificate in Automotive Technician Assistant, Auto Body Certificate, Automotive Maintenance and Light Repair Certificate. Amber Davis, one year certificate in Practical Nursing. Kaylee Davis, Associate of Arts degree. Kelly Davis, one year certificate in Practical Nursing. Natalie Davis, one year certificate in Surgical Technology. Gabriella DeRosset, Medical Biller Certificate, Medical Coder Certificate. Shirley DeWitt, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree. Justin Dowdy, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree. Madison Duncan, one year certificate in practical nursing. Samuel Dunn, one year certificate in practical nursing with honors. Tanner Dunn, Associate of Arts degree with honors. Shaley Eaves, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree, all with honors, and also a Vienna High School graduate. Cora Edmonds, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Madison Eichhorn, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree. Shana Elms, one year certificate in practical nursing. Hannah Etherton, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree. Stephen Etter, Associate of Applied Science degree in social work with honors. Lindsay Everett, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Crystal Evers, Associate of Arts degree with honors. Amber Fairless, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing with honors. Bennett Fisher, Associate of General Studies degree. Vanessa Flores Perez, Associate of Applied Science degree in business management with honors. Robin Foote, Associate of Arts degree, 
associate of science degree, both with honors. McKayan Fox, associate of applied science degree, associate degree nursing with honors. Brock Fraser, associate of arts degree, associate of science degree, both with honors. Don Fuller, associate of science degree, associate of general studies degree. Rianne Fuller, associate of arts degree, associate of general studies degree. Trevor Gale, associate of applied science degree in criminal justice, one year certificate in criminal justice with honors. Josie Garduno, one year certificate in practical nursing. Peyton Guyman, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree, all with honors. Carly Glisson, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree, both with honors, and also a Vienna High School graduate. Mario Goggins, Associate of Arts degree. Kirsten Goins, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree, both with honors, and also a Vienna High School graduate. Macy Goins, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Adriana Green, Associate of Arts degree with honors. Lily Greer, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree, Associate of Applied Science degree, and Occupational Therapy Assistant, all with honors. Christian Halverson, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, both with honors. Richard Hamilton, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree, all with honors. Angela Harris, Associate of General Studies degree. Julian Harris, Associate of Science degree. Elena Hartline, Associate of Arts degree. Ashley Henderson, Associate of Applied Science degree and Administrative Assistant. Kaylee Henderson, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree. Mildred Henderson, one year certificate in criminal justice with honors. Olivia Hess, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree. Cheyenne Higgins, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing, one year certificate in practical nursing. Hannah Heilman, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing with honors. Kristen Hodges, one year certificate in practical nursing. Mindy Holcomb, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Gabriel Holloman, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree, and a Vienna High School graduate. Lauren Holzer, Associate of Science degree with honors. Lana Horman, Associate of Applied Science degree and Occupational Therapy Assistant with honors. Tamara Hornsby, Associate of Arts degree. Amanda Hausman, Associate of General Studies degree. Rodney Houston, Associate of Arts degree. Jared Huckleberry, Associate of Arts degree. Reagan Hudson, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Elori Hunt, Associate of Science degree, one year certificate in practical nursing. Brooke Jackson, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Jennifer Jacobs, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing with honors. Cheyenne James, Associate of Arts degree with honors. 
Shania Jangjilawat, one-year certificate in cosmetology. Nataline Jepson, one-year certificate in practical nursing. Ashley Johnson, Associate of Arts degree. Sierra Johnson, Associate of Arts degree. Emilio Johnson, Associate of Science degree, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Morgan Johnson, one-year certificate in cosmetology with honors. Reagan Johnson, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree, both with honors, and also a Vienna High School graduate. Alan Michael Johnston, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Alyssa Jones, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree. Jacob Jones, Associate of Arts degree. Sandy Jones, Associate of Applied Science degree and Administrative Assistant. Shiana Jones, Associate of Arts degree. Jamie Jordan, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Grayson Kern, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree, all with honors. Hunter Kilmer, Associate of Applied Science degree and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Sharisa Kimball, Associate of Arts degree. Cody King, one-year certificate in Practical Nursing. Laurelyn King, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree Nursing. Austin Klasner, Associate of General Studies degree. Kayla Cobell, one-year certificate in Practical Nursing. Karina Kreisman, Associate of Arts degree with honors. Kyle Kutak, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree Nursing. Davion Ladd, one-year certificate in combination welding. Kelly Lamanek, one-year certificate in practical nursing. Alejandra Landreth, Associate of Arts degree. Peyton Lang, Associate of Arts degree. Dylan Latham, Associate of Applied Science degree in Computer System and Security Specialist. Ryan Lawrence, Associate of Arts degree. Jeremy Legret, Associate of Applied Science degree in Occupational Therapy Assistant. Amanda LeBrock, one-year certificate in practical nursing. Molly K. Lewis, Associate of Applied Science degree in occupational therapy assistant with honors. Tasha Linder, medical biller certificate, medical coder certificate. Caitlin Link, Associate of Applied Science degree, associate degree nursing. Eliza Little, Associate of General Studies degree, one-year certificate in practical nursing. Abby Livesay, one-year certificate in practical nursing. Taylor Loveless, one-year certificate in practical nursing. Cameron Lovell, Associate of Arts degree with honors. Darnell Lowe, Associate of Arts degree. Joshua Luke, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree. Jazane McGrath, Associate of Arts degree. Israel Markovic, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree. Natalie Marshall, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree. 
Haley Martin, Associate of Arts degree. Lisette Martinez, one year certificate in practical nursing. Tristan Masters, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree. Elizabeth Mattingly, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Rebecca Mattingly, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Madison Mays, Associate of Arts degree with honors. Hillary McClellan, Associate of Applied Science degree in Occupational Therapy Assistant. Michaela McGowan, Associate of Applied Science degree in Occupational Therapy Assistant. John McHugh, One Year Certificate in Combination Welding with Honors. Amber McIntosh, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing with honors. Amber McKendry, one year certificate in practical nursing. Jessica McMahon, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Paige Medley, Associate of Arts degree with honors. Jonathan Manise, one year certificate in combination welding. Braden Mazo, Associate of Arts degree with honors. Hannah Merriman, one year combination welding certificate. Jasmine Milburn, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Amanda Miles, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Erica Miller, Associate of Applied Science degree in Occupational Therapy Assistant. Alicia Mitchell, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree with honors. Abby Monin, one year certificate in Practical Nursing. Ashton Moore, one year certificate in Practical Nursing. Shauna Moore, Associate of Arts degree. Callie Mowry, Associate of Applied Science degree in Fish and Wildlife Management. Cheryl Myrick, Associate of Arts degree. Peyton Needham, one year certificate in Practical Nursing. Zachary Newberry, one year certificate in Practical Nursing. Jordan Newberry, Associate of Applied Science degree in Medical Laboratory Technologist with honors. Haley New, one year certificate in Practical Nursing. Jessica Nikolic, one year certificate in practical nursing. Mitchell O'Neill, one year certificate in combination welding with honors. Marcella Page, Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate degree nursing. Tristan Parker, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree. Ashley Parr, Associate of Applied Science degree in occupational therapy assistant with honors. Taya Payne, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree. Krista Pender, one year certificate in practical nursing. Madison Penrod, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree. Kelsey Ann Phillips, one year certificate in practical nursing. Grace Pitts, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, both with honors. Amanda Plott, Associate of Arts degree. Kathy Price, Associate of Applied Science degree and Administrative Assistant. 
Tammy Price, Nail Technology Certificate. Alexis Pye, Associate of Arts Degree. Logan Quatermas, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Associate Degree Nursing. Aubrey Rawls, Associate of Arts Degree. Mackenzie Rager, Associate of Arts Degree with Honors. Reba Reed, One Year Certificate in Practical Nursing. Taylor Reichert, One Year Certificate in Practical Nursing. Nicholas Rhine, Associate of Arts Degree. Sydney Ross, Associate of Arts Degree, Associate of Science Degree, Associate of General Studies Degree, all with honors. Sydney Ross, Associate of General Studies Degree, Associate of Science Degree, with honors. Andres Ruiz, Associate of Applied Science Degree in Criminal Justice, one year certificate in Criminal Justice. Atai Rush, Medical Biller Certificate, Medical Coder Certificate. Colin Ryan, Associate of General Studies Degree. Isaac Sally, One Year Certificate in Automotive Technician Assistant. Naomi Sally, Associate of General Studies Degree. Savannah Schuhart, Associate of General Studies degree with honors. Angel Scott, Medical Biller Certificate, Medical Coder Certificate, One Year Certificate in Medical Coding Specialist, One Year Certificate in Medical Office Assistant. Virginia Sievers, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Applied Science degree in Business Management with honors. Jordan Schaefer, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree with honors. Shania Shipman, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree. Sarah Short, Associate of Applied Science degree and Medical Laboratory Technologist with honors. Serena Shreves, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree, both with honors. Jasmine Simkis, Associate of Arts degree. Megan Sims, one year certificate in Surgical Technology with honors. Jason Simpson, Associate of Arts degree with honors. Ashley Smart, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Associate Degree Nursing. Alicia Smith, Associate of Arts Degree. Dexter Smith, Associate of Arts Degree, Associate of Science Degree. Jacob Smith, Associate of Arts Degree with Honors. Kiera Daisy Smith, one year certificate in cosmetology. Kylie Smith, Associate of Arts degree, Associate of General Studies degree with honors and also a Vienna High School graduate. Ashley Smithy, Medical Office Assistant Certificate. Michaela Snell, one year certificate in practical nursing. Ryan Staddlebatcher, Associate of Applied Science degree in HVAC with honors. Matthew Steinmetz, Basic Heating and Air Conditioning Certificate with honors. Hadley Stevens, Associate of Arts degree with honors. Mason Stewart, Associate of Science degree with honors. Aubrey Stiff, Associate of Arts degree. 
Ashley Stokes, Medical Biller Certificate, Medical Coder Certificate. Sean Stram, Associate of Arts Degree. Miosha Strickland, Associate of Arts Degree. Kelsey Strong, Associate of Applied Science Degree and Associate Degree Nursing. Amber Stull, One Year Certificate in Practical Nursing. Morgan Suggs, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Associate Degree Nursing. Kalissa Sullivan, Associate of Arts Degree. Autumn Sweeney, One Year Certificate in Practical Nursing with Honors. Helena Tolbert, Associate of Arts Degree and also a Caro High School graduate. Rachel Thornsberry, One Year Certificate in Practical Nursing. Hilary Traxler, Cosmetology Instructor Training Certificate with Honors. Alexis Tripp, Associate of Arts Degree, Associate of Science Degree. Nikki Turner, One Year Certificate in Practical Nursing. Trent Unterreiner, Associate of Arts Degree. Rebecca Vaughn, Associate of Arts Degree. Devin Vinson, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Associate Degree Nursing. David Voigt, Associate of Applied Science Degree in Accounting, Associate of Science Degree. Casey Voigt, One Year Certificate in Practical Nursing. Amber Walker, Associate of Applied Science Degree in Occupational Therapy Assistant, Associate of Arts Degree, Associate of Science Degree. Asia Wade, Associate of Arts Degree, Associate of Science Degree. Amaya Wade, Associate of Arts Degree, Associate of Science Degree. India Wade, Associate of Arts Degree, Associate of Applied Science Degree in Criminal Justice. Rebecca Walker, Associate of Arts Degree. Colt Walls, Associate of Arts Degree. Braden Webb, Associate of Arts Degree. Brian Warenberg, One Year Certificate in Combination Welding. Daryl Weldon Sr., Basic Heating and Air Conditioning Certificate. Emma Wells, Associate of Arts Degree, Associate of Science Degree, Associate of General Studies Degree, all with honors, and also a Vienna High School graduate. Dalton Werner, Associate of Applied Science Degree in Computer System and Security Specialist. Bradley West, Associate of Arts Degree, Associate of Science Degree, Associate of General Studies Degree. Mary Wheaton, Associate of General Studies Degree. Caitlin Wiggs, Associate of Arts Degree, Associate of General Studies Degree. Megan Wilkins, one Year Certificate in Surgical Technology. Crystal Willie, One Year Certificate in Practical Nursing. Aaliyah Williams, Associate of Arts Degree. Michelle Williams, One Year Certificate in Medical Coding Specialist, One Year Certificate in Medical Office Assistant with Honors, and Medical Coder Certificate. Molly Williams, Associate of Arts Degree with Honors. Chase Wilson, Associate of Arts Degree. Jennifer Wilson, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Associate Degree Nursing. Sophia Wingate, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Associate Degree Nursing. Leah Wood, Associate of Arts Degree. Logan Wood, Associate of Arts Degree. Journey Womack, Associate of Arts Degree. Joshua Wright, Associate of Arts Degree, 
Associate of Science degree with honors. Tracy Wright, Medical Biller Certificate. Erica Zeschke, Associate of Science degree. On the basis of this official certification, I am honored to confer on our graduates their respective degrees and certificates, certificates to which they are entitled. I hereby confer these degrees and certificates with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto, and I congratulate them for their accomplishments. Trustees, faculty, family, friends, and graduates, few things are as special as the celebration of our students' achievements. As your interim president, I want to be the first to extend a heartfelt congratulations to all of you for the dedication, perseverance, hard work, and accomplishments that have brought you to this day. Today is an equally special day for the parents, for the grandparents, siblings, and other family members whose support made all of this possible. Let us also celebrate the faculty these dedicated individuals who taught you, worked on your behalf, and developed exciting ways to share their vast wisdom, knowledge, and experience with you. We want to say thank you to each one of you for your contribution to our students' success. In a few minutes, our virtual ceremony concludes. You will be a part of the newest graduates of Shawnee Community College. As your interim president, I have the privilege of impacting your lives as you embark on the next part of your life's journey. One constant in life is the process of change. Your life is a beautiful gift and much like the metamorphosis that occurs in the life of a butterfly, your transformation as a result of your preparation, hard work, and diligence creates something beautiful and awe-inspiring. Everyone who achieves greatness understands the value of change. As you move along life's journey, you must be willing to change and adapt based on our situation. This is how you will grow. Choose a life that refuses to remain the same. This is my message to you, graduates. If you envision your life as a journey, you must remember that the mission always requires that you take steps forward the direction we desire to go be willing to adapt and to overcome any obstacles that you meet to get where you wish to be. Class of 2020, pursue every ambition. Go as far as you can possibly dream and be the first generation to embrace a new responsibility that includes a responsibility to rebuild your community. Through your efforts, your community will be strong. As Oprah Winfrey states, Show us not how to put the pieces back together again, but how to create a new and more evolved normal, a world more just, kind, beautiful, tender, and luminous. We have done our part to bring you to this point, and now it is time for you to make your mark in the world. Today, I challenge you to take what you have learned and make an impact. Keep moving forward sometimes on the path set before you, and sometimes blazing a trail to what lies ahead. Today, I challenge you to work hard for your dreams. Dreams are a great test. A dream will test your resolve, but it is something that will get you excited and will power you through every obstacle that your environment will throw against you. All of us are generally honored to be a part of your celebration and we applaud your achievements. We send our best wishes as you begin the great adventures that lie ahead. To the great class of 2020, congratulations. You are now a graduate of Shawnee College and alumni for our college. Another student leader is Hadley Stevens, who is a 2018 graduate of Massac County High School and is receiving her associate of Arts with Honors. While attending Shawnee Community College, she has been an active member of Phi Theta Kappa, serving as the Vice President. Hadley plans to attend Murray State University to obtain a degree in nonprofit leadership and work with individuals with intellectual disabilities. Good evening. 
fellow graduates, and supporters of the graduating class of 2020. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Hadley Stevens, and I am a Metropolis, Illinois native. I want to first and foremost congratulate you on this accomplishment. While the, our year did not end the way that we had expected it to, we each still pushed through adversity and made it to this day. Graduation is a significant achievement and it takes a lot of time and effort to achieve this feat. In, in my case, I am the first person in my family to graduate from a higher education and I'm sure that many of you can relate to this as well. We all experience adversity in some time in our life or another. Whether it be navigating life with a disability, in my instance, or simply going through online learning during a pandemic, we all have challenges that we have to face and overcome. While these things can be discouraging, may we all embrace the challenges and rise to overcome them just as we have overcome the challenges that we have faced over our time here at Shawnee Community College. During my time at Shawnee Community College, I have learned the, accept the importance of acceptance, equality, and understanding. Coming from a rural high school, my time at Com Shawnee Community College gave me the opportunity to meet and cultivate relationships with people who were much different from myself. This was a beautiful thing and it taught me many things. When I was writing this speech, I came across a quote that I thought really um, described my experience here at Shawnee and I wanted to share it with you. It read, do not make it your goal to be the best. Best is a label. It is something that someone else decides for you. Better is more personal. This is something that I've, I could relate to because I always want to be the best. I want to make the best grades, I want to be the best in my education or my clubs or whatever it may be. But since coming to Shawnee Community College I've known to be better. I want to be better than when I entered those doors two years ago. I'd like to think that because of my time at Shawnee Community College I am a better person. I'd like to think that I am more aware of the people and the situations that are going around in the world and that I'm more empathetic to my fellow man, that I am better than when I started. Now leaving Shawnee Community College, I'm ready to make a positive impact on the world. I hope to continue getting better each day and hope that you wish to do the same. I, I feel like your potential is limitless and your story is personal. Those are two very important things that you can use in your life to make a positive impact for yourself and others and I think you can use them to change the world. Class of 2020, I wish you the very best and I hope that someday our paths may cross again. Congratulations and good luck. This concludes our 2020 virtual commencement ceremony. At this time I will ask Pastor Thomas Gray of Fellowship Baptist Church to provide our benediction. Thank you. Let us pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Uh, Father of lights and God of glory, we come before you humbly in the name of your Son, Jesus. And we want to first and foremost thank you uh, for your kindness to this uh, class. The way you have carried them for many years, O oh God, and, and been good to them. Help them oversee many obstacles, Father. And so we thank you for that. We thank you for the grace you've given in them, in them for hard work and diligence and endurance, Father. We want to thank you for Shawnee Community College, Father, helping our community, helping our society, Father. And I just ask that you would bless these students, Father, as they uh, go into many different areas, Father, that you would give them grace, that they would endure, Father, that you would bless them in their fields, that our society might grow and that we might expand and we might uh, deliver goods and we might cure cancers, Father. We thank you for this. Father, I would just ask that you would bless Shawnee Community College for many years to come to be a blessing uh, in our midst. And lastly, Father, I ask that you would bless everyone here uh, with the grace 
that you provide in your Son, Jesus Christ, in their hearts and in their minds and in their bodies. And it's in His name that we pray, the name of Jesus. Amen and amen.